What's good, goblins? It's your man. Recently, I had a power outage in my area, and this prevented me from making videos. I also had a creative drought leading up to that period, so I guess it made for a necessary vacation. But while on this necessary vacation, I got to think about all my old content and how I've grown and improved over the years. I also reminisced on the memories that I've gained through filming these videos, and boy, was it, was it a good time. I also put out a poll about a week ago on Twitter asking if I should do a top 10 YOLO Caboose videos video, and I guess, I guess that's what I'm doing. So today, we're counting down my top 10 favorite YOLO Caboose videos. Ooh! In order to prepare myself for this countdown, I draw out a list of all my current era content, which means no, no gaming videos, okay? No, no GTA funny moments. Stop this. Stop this. By the end of this countdown, you should be familiar with what content I like making the most. So, without a further ado, Let's get right into the number 10. Yep. The Stephen Z. Killer Roast. At number 10, we're starting out with a more drawn out video. The Stephen Z. Killer Roast is 10 minutes and 30 seconds long and is the longest video on this list. For the longest time, we all talked about the possibility of a Steven Z. Killer roast. One afternoon, Proto and I were hanging out, and we just decided to do it. This led to a few unplanned gags, such as Proto Shock spanking one of his dogs. However, this video wasn't filmed in the same afternoon. The original version of this featured Proto Shock standing in the corner of my room and ranting about Steven over the hall monitor song from SpongeBob. Well. The first thing I have to say about Steven is his fans, right? He may have 15,000 of them, but man, can they not take a joke in his comment section. <laughs> Two, Steven, what are those shoes you were wearing in that one video? And I don't even watch your videos. Your whole channel layout is like a middle schooler threw up on YouTube. <laughs> you always ask me, yo, did you watch that new video? No, I didn't, Steven. I'm not fucking sub to you. Thanks for asking, though. After a slight disagreement over whether or not we should reshoot, Proto convinced me otherwise, and I'm quite glad that we did. Yo, Steven, I'm always in an Xbox Live party with you, right? When you always ask me, man, did you like the new video? No, Steven, I didn't, because I'm not fucking sub to you. Thanks for asking, though. Oh! I forgot to mention this, Steven reacted to this for his 15,000 subscribers special, and instead of making it about him, the guy who got 15,000 subscribers, he made it more about me. Hey, it's hey. a boy! Thanks, Steven. Number 9. It's better than Tupac. Coming in at number 9, we have a pretty controversial pick. is better than Tupac is a video I made solely to piss rap fans off. At the time, X took some heat from saying people shouldn't compare him to Tupac on a live stream, and boy, I should have taken advantage of it sooner. In hindsight, I waited too long to do this video. Um, if, if I did it the day that I heard about this live stream, who knows the extent of the attention I would have gotten. Either way, when it came to posting that video, I was pretty nervous about how it would be received, so I made it public at 6 in the morning and stuffed all the way until 5 in the evening. Number 8. Bleach Pond. This one's a classic. I don't know exactly what it is about Bleach Pond that makes it great, but it is great. And if you say it's not, I make it really, really mad. Bleach Pong is the climax of the YouTube beef between Yolo Caboose and Proto Shock. The premise of this competition is that each contender has five Fred Solo cups, and one on each side contains bleach. The game is played like beer pong, but whoever lives wins. Number seven. Don't summon a ghost at 3 a.m. Number seven is my Halloween special from last year. The idea here was that it's a continuation of another video that may or may not be on this list. Okay, it's on this list. This video is supposed to pay tribute to two separate mediums, 80 slasher films and YouTube Nerf Wars. Growing up, I really enjoyed watching Nerf battle videos on YouTube. I remember trying to make my own at one point, but thank Thankfully, that failed miserably. Anyways, without seeing these, I may not have ended up making YouTube videos today. Side note, there's also a nod to Mortal Kombat X towards the end. I don't think anybody caught it when we were filming, but I specifically jumped towards the ghost in the same fashion as when you beat Shinnok in the final cutscene at the end of a tower. Number 6. 
Anthony Fantano gets what he deserves for making bad reviews. This one was fun because I got to smash a melon. It was also cool because I got a shout out from Fantano on Twitter. I'm still concerned as to whether or not he took offense to it. I mean, he wouldn't comment guys I'm okay if there wasn't some tension derived from that video. Either way, Protoshock still owes me 20 bucks for that chair. Number 5. The Roast. The Roast is a pretty cool concept altogether, I gotta admit, and I'm especially glad that it is a part of my channel. The video itself was the first time we shot a whole video at night, and it provided an excellent atmosphere for the video. I don't think The Roast would have had the same elusive effect if it were to debut during the daytime. Number 4. Banned from the Universe. This video's great. It's got the roast. It's got Where's the one-liners. It's got acrobatics. And it's got memes. I like the music choice too. ZZ Top was a great pick. A few people have brought up this weird stuff on Puccini's glasses and... What is that? What is that stuff? All in all, Ban from the Universe is a pretty fun vid. I recommend checking it out. There's also a scarce joke because I wouldn't come out from behind a tree. Then when I do, you hear, hey, hey what's, what's up, guys? guys? Number three, how to roast anything and everything. This is the video that introduces one of the more important YOLO Caboose characters, Chef Fabrizio Puccini. If you see him in a video, you should know that something's going on. Anyways, this video was a lot of fun. Half of it was shot in November, while the other half was shot in April. This isn't obvious at all. Number two, the ghost that can roast. I like this bit because I think the concept is funny. Two losers buy a Ouija board, and eventually start trying to get to know a, a, a girl who's dead. Around the time last summer, uh, everybody was talking about Lance Stewart and his Ouija board videos, so we hopped on to that thing. Number one. Where's the bleach? How to bring your friend back to life. How to bring your friend back to life is my favorite YOLO Caboose video. It's everything a YOLO Caboose video strives to be. You got the YouTube satire, subscribe, a fight scene, a trip to Walmart. There's only two things that the video doesn't have. The roast and the YOLO caboose attire that I wear in every video. But they weren't introduced until the video after. Bleach Creech was cool. The Bleach Creech had some cool music too. Captain Cringe didn't show up that day so we got a replacement. Uh, Captain Cripple. I didn't come up with that name. That was someone else. I insisted on not calling. <laughs> Captain Cripple, Captain Cripple. This isn't the first time we shot How to Bring Your Friend Back to Life. The first time we shot it, it was really, really, really bad. But if you buried him, then what's that? Where's the bleach? I wish I had the original footage edited to the point that I had it edited, but um, I, I accidentally overwrote it with the final version of it. So whoops. Well, that's it, guys. The top 10 YOLO Caboose videos video which video was your favorite comment down below thanks for watching maybe i'll do a gta 5 top 10 funniest gta 5 funniest moments yeah maybe that maybe that will come in the future thanks for watching so long Oops.